Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here with another crafty video for Spellbinders featuring the Spider Web Corners die set. I'm so excited to be making my first Halloween projects of the year, and these dies are so much fun and they're at a super good price point because there's just these two dies, but there's so many things that you can do with them. So we're gonna die cut them to create the cover panel for a shaker card. So I'm going to be using this gray cardstock. I'm gonna need four of the corners and two of the round connectors. And I just thought I would show you because this is an intricate die that you um, having a tool to get them out is gonna help you a lot like this bloom tool right here. I also like to use a shim um, when I'm cutting them out, if I find that they're sticking into those holes, you know, where you have to peel them off. If they fall out when you are doing this and poking them, no big deal. Also, it's a really good idea to run it through your machine and back and maybe through again three times. So just use those couple of tricks when you're doing intricate dies like this. And I think that you'll... Um, feel a lot less stressful about cutting them out. All right, so these hook together at the little diamonds on the ends. You wanna put an open piece with a closed piece when connecting them. I'm also gonna cut out just that open side of the round piece to get those little squares for accent when I put this all together. I have a piece of vellum that I'm cutting out the center with an oval die, and this is the panel that I'm gonna glue my frame onto. So once I got that all centered, I ran it through my die machine and then I have a nice opening for my shaker card. So I'll save that oval for something else. And then the other piece I'm gonna need is the backer to my shaker card. So I am taking a piece of whipped cream cardstock and putting Distress Oxide over that in black soot. Now, I don't want this to be perfect. I'm not going for like a really good blend. I even like that there's some lighter areas on this. Um, it's just, you know, a Halloween background. So I'm gonna spray that with water to get those Distress Oxide oxidized dots on there, love it. And then we're gonna splatter it with silver, gold, and citrus cooler um, splashes. Silks, there's silks, I'm sorry, from Fun Stamper's Journey. I love these, they have a hint of shimmer in them, so when you splatter them on, you might see, like with this citrus cooler, you see the color right away, but there's also a shimmer underneath when they dry, and of course, the metallics are amazing. So I chose the colors that I'm using in this card based on the shaker elements that I'm gonna put in it. So that's how I decided on those colors to splatter on, and they're amazing. Now I'm taking some Tombow aqua liquid glue. I'm putting that in a little paint palette and mixed it with just a tiny bit of water. I'm using that and a fine tipped paintbrush to paint the glue on the back of my intricate die cuts. Then I can lay that on my vellum and I'll use a heavy block to help me hold that in place and dry while I do the next piece. So I did all four of the corners and then I did the two side connector pieces. The solid piece will go under the open piece when you're connecting them. So this panel that I'm gluing them to measures five and a fourth by four inches and it fits on there perfect. Now I'm gonna go back and glue down those uh, more open pieces and then it's done and ready to go. We'll glue on a window sheet to the back of this, giving that just a minute to dry and putting a heavy block on top of this panel is really gonna help it dry flat. All right, then we can add in those gold accent pieces. Aren't those awesome? So you'll need six of these pieces to create this card. Now, if you wanted to do a square card, you could put the four corners together and leave out the round connector pieces. So there's another option for you. If you like this kind of cornery um, die set, Spellbinders had another one that was super cool. I'll link my videos to that one um, at the end of the video so you can check those out. And now I'm going to hot foil a sentiment using the Spooky Greetings Glimmer Hot Foil set, also a new Halloween product that I think is adorable. I really want to Glimmer Hot Foil that skeleton. So I put some black foil down onto my um, 
plate when it was hot and then some tangerine cardstock and ran that through my die cut machine once the timer went off. And then when I peel away that black foil, look at this cool sentiment. It's pressed into the paper a little bit and then that foil shines when you turn it in the light. Now I have the Hey Boo stamp set. I'm using the pumpkin. I'm gonna ink that up with this really rich yellow called Summer Days and then just roll the edge of the pumpkin in Tangerine Fusion. So my pumpkin looks like it's glowing. The center is lighter than the outside edge. Is that cool? Love it. All right, so now I'm gonna fussy cut that out. I call this speed cutting. Look how fast it is to cut this out. <laughs> and there's my pumpkin. We'll set that aside, and now we're going to create the shaker part of this card. So this is some adhesive that is supposed to be vellum friendly. Um, yeah. It did show through a little bit on my card, but I feel like you don't notice it unless you're really like examining the card. So tell me what you think when all is said and done. Here's a piece of foam I have cut just a hair smaller than five and a fourth by four. Then I took a rectangle die and cut out the center. Now I have the perfect frame for my shaker card. So I'll remove the backing of that. And the reason why I did fun foam instead of foam tape is because I wanted this to be black because it's going on a black background. All right, now I'm adding these shaker elements that I find these every year, like at the dollar store or Walmart. They're just Halloween confetti. So these are from last year or the year before, but it has stars and jack-o'-lanterns and bats. And then I'm gonna add in with that some silver shavings. Aren't these cool? They make a really good sound when you shake your card. All right, so now I'm using liquid glue, the Tombow liquid glue, to add my Distress Oxide background. And then I will let that have some time to dry, setting the heavy block on it again. And then we'll put that entire thing onto a black top folding note card, which measures 11 inches by four and a fourth and scored at five and a half, giving that a moment to dry. And then I'll add my pumpkin, gluing it to the center and then popping up my Glimmer Hot Foil Sentiment, which I die cut with a banner die right across the middle. Isn't that fun? Loving this shaker card. All right, for the inside, I'm adding another panel to the to that because it's black, I like to add something a little bit lighter. So I went with that gray cardstock I used on the outside. And then I'm gonna use some more images from the Hey Boo stamp set to just dress it up a little bit. I love a spider stamp set, but not really spiders in real life. <laughs> okay, so that finishes up my shaker card. I also had another idea with this set, so I'm making a shaker tag. These are the little connector pieces, but I thought they kind of looked like wrapped candy. So I'm gonna layer this with a die cut circle behind it in a lighter color to give them, I don't know, kind of a filled in candy, wrapped candy look. Do you think they look like wrapped candy? <laughs> so I did a gray one, an orange one, and a yellow, putting the lighter color behind. You could flip it too, put the lighter color on the outside and the, the darker one underneath. You could mix and match colors, like um, put purple with green or, you know, there's so many fun colors for Halloween. Now I have the special day tag die set. I use this die set a lot. I love this tag right here because I can layer the rectangle die in the center of it and create a frame just like this. And that rectangle um, has a pierced edge, but I'll save that for later. Now I'm gonna use just the tag to die cut um, a background that I made the same way as I did the one for my card. I also die cut another tag from um, some window sheet and I'll glue that to the back of my frame. Let that dry. And then I did Glimmer Hot Foil a sentiment from that same set, the Spooky Greetings, that says Booyah with tangerine foil on black paper. It's a little crooked, but I didn't mind it for some reason. Then I'm taking some foam strips and going around the edge of my frame. This was a really small area, so it was easier for me to do foam strips on this one. I guess I could have cut really small strips of my black um, fun foam, but... I did this and it worked out fine. I'm using the same exact shaker um, combination for the inside of this because I love it. So cute. All right, I removed the backing and then I'm adding a second window sheet. I did put a little anti-static powder on that because those silver shavings are very kind of staticky. 
So I'll press that into place and that traps in my shaker elements and I just found it easier with this smaller piece to add the second window sheet, sandwiching everything in there and then it was a little bit easier to then attach this to my background panel. So I just trimmed away some of that uh, window sheet that was showing through and then glued that onto my background. And then I used a crocodile, which I haven't used in a hundred years, but it went through all the layers, two layers of cardstock and the window sheet to create a hole in my tag. And then I can add some black and white baker's twine. And it's getting really close to Halloween for a girl to only have that much black and white twine. I might need to get me some more of that. So then I popped up my little candies and my sentiment, and then I'm going to fill in with some journey glaze. Now, do you think this gray one looks like a starfighter from Star Wars? I know, now I can't unsee it, but hey, you could make a Star Wars card with that die too. There's another idea for you. You're welcome. So that's my tag, all finished, ready to go. I think it turned out really cute. I love how it coordinates with my card, and I think it would be fun to give people something around Halloween to cheer them up, give them a sweet treat with this tag. And I think making Halloween projects is so much fun because of the colors and the style. It's just a break from the norm. And I think this die set is a great addition to anything Halloween. So I'm excited to have it. If you're interested in it, I have all the things listed and linked for you below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you're having a fabulous week and I would love to chat with you. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about making Halloween projects. All right. Happy stamping. Bye.